Freaky, do you know about this? We covered um, Jeb Nichols' video on Joker, <laughs> and she was desperately uh, trying to figure out the theme of Joker. Um, she guesses at them, and then at one point she says, was the theme of no. the film that people should stop taking medication? Uh, how, how, how... I've heard that like four times now, and it always makes me fucking laugh. How, how... <laughs> so <retarded. laughs> That's stupid. So, remember the theme of the episode being about, like, maintaining a double identity and how one infringes upon the other? And mm -hmm. how in the beginning of the episode, she implies that she's open about being a lesbonio, and therefore, hiding Batwoman is, is like, the same level of bullshit. Like, that shouldn't be Lesbonius, a thing. Lesbonius, he was a student of Begidius. Absolutely. And so, by the end of the episode, we find out that pursuing and concealing Batwoman over, like, supersedes her, um, her wants and needs of, of a life, and so it's like, did the show just say that you shouldn't come out of the closet, per se, if it affects... Oh, wow. Like, like it's like, <laughs> don't do it if it benefits other people not to. <laughs> it's like, whoa. That's Oof. progressive. So, you know, um, they might want to fix that. <laughs> Be like, <laughs> oh no, it's totally cool, it's okay. Anyway, we apparently missed this. Someone said it was the favorite part of their ep the episode for them. Kate's ex, Sophie, says, have you heard about the new bat person or whatever? And then Kate responds, uh, it's Batwoman, and she's the best thing to happen to Gotham ever. Something like that. And then later on in the episode, Kate's <laughs> like, I think my ex is odd to be that I'm Batwoman. How does, she, how does Bruce keep this a secret? <laughs> <laughs> Bruce keeps this a secret. He's like he doesn't talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> for starters, I mean he doesn't let it, his enemies run away. If if he takes something from somebody that only Batman could have, Bruce Wayne makes sure not to be caught with it by people. You know, just the basics, like the bare minimum basics. He, he doesn't need to get his enemies to like a gorilla doctor because he almost killed them by just letting him hang for like yeah, I mean a week. I mean, like, Okay. Throughout this whole show, she showed such little regard for her protecting her identity that it shouldn't <laughs> even be a surprise. No. She's thrown batarangs before episode 4, she definitely threw them in episode 2. Why is this calibration thing only now been a thing? Because it was relevant I mean, to this one and done episode. Okay. I mean, this time they came back, the other time she just threw them into people. She didn't need to catch them. Well, the, the point is not that uh, we never necessarily saw her throw and grab a boomer or a batarang. It's more so that she's been using them this whole time, and this just it never came come up. up by now. Yeah, they're it should have come up already. Like she never even tried to throw and grab it. Is that what you're telling me? No, she's <laughs> she she knows how to use all the equipment without any training or prior experience. Like none, like literally none. As the as the first episode showed, she put on that suit and she was flying. She, she knew how she to was fly on a first go. Right off buildings. Wouldn't it be funny if she like? Put like it out just like, oh wait, this is actually difficult, and then just drop down and hit the ground. <laughs> it's just like, whoops, I guess the show's over now. So this, I just thought it was funny. She tortured a guy near to death, and it was all off screen. I guess that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because remember, there's no accountability if you didn't like, see it happen. Could you we cut this, away? This it didn't happen. If we saw, like, imagine he gave up no information, right? So it's just this, this scene. It's a grueling twenty minute scene, and she's just <laughs> torturing him. He's like <laughs> screaming, and people are like, "This is fine." <laughs> <laughs> also, also, this is what's so crazy to me. He didn't almost die from like some, you know, septic. extremely brutal hit. It was because one of his wounds became infected, infected to the point of near fatality. Like that's fucking awful. So that's irresponsible. Like world <laughs> oh my good! Like you never decided. Oh yeah, that's right. He's cut pretty gnarly. He got. Didn't he get a batarang thrown into his uh, leg? Stabs him. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Mary stabs him with the batarang. It doesn't really matter because who knows yeah. what the fuck Batwoman did to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, that's. Awful, man. So you got, um, what was the kill count up to when she let her go off the rooftop? Uh, I Four think she was, Yeah. It was the two old people and the two police officers. He's let go at episode three. That leads to another death and mutilation. And this is after the fact that Alice has attempted to kill our protagonist's oh. ex-girlfriend yeah. and stepsister. And stepsister, yeah. And, um, all those people in the park with the bomb. That's correct, yes. Um, she knows about all of this shit? Does nothing. Like, I know that we've hopped on that, it's just unbelievable, that's all. There should not be a week that goes by where we don't state that every problem that happens from now on... It doesn't weigh on her. It doesn't weigh on her at all. Actually, 
If Alice knows Kate is Batwoman and she also knows that Wayne, you know, something to do with Wayne Tower when she shot that light in. So what if she just like snuck into Wayne Tower and found the Batcave and stole the equipment? That's true. Considering we have a precedent for villains just walking into Bruce Wayne. Into Wayne Tower and getting <laughs> it, yeah. Um, I think you guys in. are missing the key factor here. You know where you can get into the Batcaves if you have a random memory of the necklace. Remember that. Random right. flashback <laughs> memory. Uh, Which she might have because she might, actually she just, might. Have, oh, well, yeah, yeah no, right. that, yeah. she should she have was, that. Yeah. She was playing with Alice. Yeah. You're right. That's right. Oh, oh no! Oh no! no. <laughs> you know Alice is gonna. I like, I I like that we decided the only case. other person who could possibly have it is the one person we were just discussing could get it. And we we're like, oh right, yeah, fuck. Uh, I'm curious oh. though, what it would take at this point for Alice to be captured by Batwoman. Like, what, what does she actually have to do? At this point, what does a villain need to have done until Kate Kane is like, you know what, you should be, probably be in jail. She's gonna be him. him. There's a lot of, like, these sorts of dynamics with a main hero, main villain, and you, you, as a writer, you're gonna want them to be in a position in the film where instead of it going, like, introduce and they fight at the end, one of them dies, you're like, no, I want them to interact at some point, somehow. And the difficulty is, like, I can't just put them in a room because, you know, good guy will arrest bad guy. This show is like, nah. No. Nah. They're just talking, they're just chatting. Oh, we moved the bat signal just so they could have this chat here in particular. Well, it's like they don't have any idea of the whole, uh, you know, flow of a story where things don't just happen for no reason. There's a co there's consequences and there's explanations, but they don't care. They're just like, no, we need this scene, so we're going to make this scene happen, even if it doesn't make any sense at all. We only mentioned it in passing. I kind of want to make sure that we, we got this, but uh, in case it comes up in this episode, because I feel like it probably will. But the real estate firm, just just a, a rattling off of <laughs> oh, why yeah. that's retarded. Uh, the first would be money. She's just, I guess, using Bruce's money, because why not? That's just how that works. Legally, you can do that. Uh, yeah, she just has access to it. The understanding of what the fuck she's even doing, like how it's going to affect Gotham, whether or not it, it could do damage or be unfeasible or something that she needs to hire and vet people for. Like, we have no idea what is involved in hire, if sorting something like that out. We're just layman, but like looking at it, it's insane that you can just go, you know what? After this villain tell me that she's often ignored because she's of a different class, I want to open up housing for lower class people. My mind just like went somewhere because you mentioned the whole thing of like how'd she get the money, and my immediate thought was okay, next of kin, and then I started but, thinking about the whole family dynamic. Like, so Kate Bruce is isn't Bruce's dead, cousin, right? No, he's not. So it doesn't make any sense. But follow this one through. So Bruce and Kate are cousins, <laughs> right? That's the dynamic in this story. Yes. Um. Yeah. Which would mean that her dad is either Thomas Wayne's brother, brother or Martha Wayne's brother. It is this why is this not like come up? Has it never come up that he feels a bit shit about his sister or brother being dead? If Jacob was Bruce's brother, why wouldn't his last name be Wayne as well? Martha Wayne's brother. Yeah, I, it would it would have to be, but does he not care that his nephew has just disappeared off the face of the earth? If anything, because in the first episode, he says to Kate, uh, when they first meet up, um, uh, you have some, uh, unlike Bruce Wayne, you can make something of your life, which yeah, is an like, odd what? thing, because he runs like a multi gajillion dollar industry. And maybe Bruce Wayne is really yeah. hated in this uh, narrative. Oh uh, man, they've done some Wouldn't bad surprise me, in the world building. There's a lot of reasons why that won't work, and I'm sure we'll, as it develops, it'll be even more funny. Also, this I don't have the time or the attention to keep a successful relationship going for even a week, but you know what? I think I can start a massive real estate firm. It's like, I have no experience, I don't know anything about this business, but I can do it because I want to. And that's if how the gonna, world works. Yeah, it's it's strange, and and I think I told uh, Mahler earlier uh, why if you're if you want to help the community with money or something, then there's a lot of things that you could do. One of those being a real estate firm, sure. But I was like, wait a second, this is a CW show, and it's Batwoman. <laughs> is the reason that she's doing a real estate firm is that supposed to be like a, a like a dig on Donald Trump? I mean, possibly. I don't. I, I've, it's, it's funny, because you just brought that up. It's like, there are a lot of ways you could help the community in a more exactly. proficient way than real estate. Just like, a why don't you just... A homeless shelter, a homeless shelter, 
a shelter for victims of criminal violence. You got a lot of options that, like, probably... <laughs> funding into be... the crows so they can actually do their job. <laughs> yeah. Ex-Navy SEALs and Green Berets, as we learned from the first episode. Oh, you no. You could have fooled no, me, no, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, yeah, uh, the city's perspective on Batwoman, do we... What did... Like, we, we mentioned this briefly, but I, I just want to make sure we hammer this in. What we're gathering Why? is people kind of, like, like and support Batwoman, but... I have no idea why all the press would be able to comment on it so that she may have stopped an explosion. They don't even know that for sure, you know, in the first episode. Can they even prove it? They saw it fly away, sure, but like, what do you know happened? Uh, how do you know she wasn't involved? Like, I don't know, I guess. I... Yeah. And then episode two was, there's no way anyone would have known anything about Bat. She barely escaped the police and the dog. Well, she she magically escaped them. <laughs> then episode three, no one saw that it was Batwoman involved, so again, that doesn't count. Episode four was Magpie, and yeah, she, she saved the girl from the exploding pebble. And everyone got a good look at her then, but people already seemed to like her, and it was just like, how? It's and is nobody interested in figuring out who she is? Just, you know, is there nobody who's really curious? It's like, huh, it wouldn't so be suddenly tough. there's- It would not be tough. <laughs> it wouldn't be difficult, because she drives her motorbike into fucking Wayne Enterprises in, like, broad daylight. Another thing that's very strange is you have the part where the effigy of Batman is on the stairs, you know, and everyone's looking around and crowding around it and stuff. Is that just, like, specifically a warning to Batwoman? Was it is from, that all was that's it from supposed Alice, to be? Or was it from Evil Mum? I don't know. Uh, I can't remember. I think we're supposed to assume it's Alice. But, but it could be Tom. It could have been Thomas, right? Problems. It could have been him, yeah. Because we're never actually sort of told who does it. It's just, like, was it a random citizen? I, like, I actually don't know what that's the thing. You I, never know. We're at the point, yeah, you never know why things happen or who does what things. So, again, moving on. <laughs> um, <laughs> Luke describes Magpie's explosions as nukes uh, in the episode. <laughs> he says what? she nuked the place in reference to the robbery. They don't even kill the guards when two go off in his face. <laughs> also, that, also, like, they're clearly not nuclear weapons. So yeah, I don't you, could be, know you could be like, oh, he's exaggerated. And I'd just be like, no, I'm. To why would you describe it that way unless it deals no. significant damage? Yeah, they're like flashbangs, yeah. if anything. Yeah, well, you, they're as not... you said, they're like neon explosions. Is that what they are? They just they don't actually <laughs> do anything. They're fake. And we could have had that. I could have believed it, but no, the characters seem to believe these are horrifically damaging things. Yeah, even though like they don't do they anything. They don't do any damage. <laughs> Of all the- what's your plan as a supervillain? Well, my thing is that I- I think that the elites and the wealthy take advantage of us. I guess that's her message thing at the end. So, my plan is to, you know, to steal jewelry. Okay, sure, fine. Uh, that's not insured or anything. So, I'm gonna steal jewels, and to do that, I'm going to go to a top secret research and development place and steal explosive ink. <laughs> a, a explosive ink and then i'm gonna make a bunch of little bird figurines and i'm gonna paint the little bird figurines white like a magpie and with the explosive ink and then i'm gonna keep them on my belt where they jingle jangle jingle around right all the time and if i need to i'll i'll take one of my my bird figurines with the explosive ink on it and i'll throw it and then it'll explode. And he describes these as controlled, and there's a paper trail, which means you've got her already. Yeah, it's Especially so... with Wayne Enterprises' resources. Oh, At this yeah. point, why aren't you just using a gun? <laughs> <laughs> just use yeah. a fucking gun. <laughs> Even a taser would probably be just more practical. Exactly. A taser would be far more- or, 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 or smoke bombs. Yeah. You're a thief. You throw a smoke bomb, poof, where'd she go? She's gone, she slipped away again, guys, oh no. Not um, I throw birds covered in, painted with explosive ink. That's the most dumbest shit I've ever heard. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, explosive I'll ink. kick on. This is gonna be longer again than the previous longer episode that was longer than this <laughs> get long. So Evil Mum, she has a huge company at her disposal with the kind of resources that can fake people's deaths, and she knew Alice's location. And with this information, she sent three thugs with pistols to try and kill Alice. <laughs> Man, that's a, like, that's a brilliant plan. Like, and I'm not exaggerating, that, that was a plan, right, to kill her? They had guns. I, like, yeah. I guess. And of course, Alice knows everything with her gang of street thugs that are literally the most effective fighting force since the fucking Roman army. You have 
her who always knows every plan that's happening and like i said during the episode catherine just catherine's the name of the evil mom just fucking blow up the building like actually just blow it up and say it was a gas leak just your problems will be over just use a missile use a bomb something <laughs> Nuke, nuke them. How about what, that? She found Magpie's address because she got the location connected to the PO box, apparently. And the guy at the desk gave her this information because she posed in a selfie with him. That's what she says. Um, what? The what? guy gave her what should absolutely be considered secure information. Basically, like, she wanted to know who collects from the PO box. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, oh, guy, yeah. Mailbox. Yeah. Uh, Post offices uh, won't just tell you, oh, yeah, this is. Yeah, she asked for it, it and he said, I'll give it to you if you do a selfie. And that's, yeah. Yeah. I mean, should, I guess it's a good thing people really gave a shit about you <laughs> for reasons we don't know. To that point, yeah. I, I don't know. Weird. Like, I don't know the, the laws and rules, but I feel like he'd get in a lot of trouble if that was discovered. But what do I know? He was a criminal. It's fine. Luke concludes from her breath being cold. Like, or see, it's, you can see the, the breath, you know, because of the temperature differences. That the room mm -hmm. is climate rigged. He just says that like it's a thing. Like, oh yeah, that room is climate rigged. Like, sit. <laughs> okay, you know what I mean? It's just all right. There's a lot that's wrong here. Me and Rags have already discussed this more. Yeah, you know, we did it in the episode too, but just more so stuff. So the room explodes if its temperature changes. All right. First thing, I, I don't know. Was it mentioned in the video? Because I really can't remember. But just she opens the door. That's probably yeah. immediately that. Yeah. Yeah, from the outside to flow in. That's a massive change, like a rapid one. So, boom. Unless, unless there's a piece of dialogue I missed where it was, I don't know if it doesn't, whatever. She's in a room where, like, her normal breath was icing up. And he says he's going to match her suit to become that cold. Also, while she can't breathe. Uh, so she's dead, right? Well, this is the thing. A lot of people were saying that she must be dead. But it's like, no, nah, guys, she survived in the opening episode. Remember when she was underwater and wet and in, like, Antarctica? So it's consistent. She survives things that humans can't. <laughs> Put her in a volcano, see what happens. <laughs> see how much she can survive. Gonna be fine with the suit. Just gonna match the temperature. How does Magpie go to her own base? I'm willing to assume Magpie has a fucking remote control that deactivates the stupid explosive. I guess. I'm in my secret lair. I, I turn off the thing. Your lair is still, like, lethal cold. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, that's true. What would happen if somebody accidentally came on that room and was like, Oh, what's well, this I, I, open I mean, door? I, mean, I, I probably should have mentioned this as well, obviously, but um, you know how his suit makes it so that, you know, ah, there you go, it, it won't affect the change room. His suit doesn't cover all of your body. No, yeah. her mouth is there. <laughs> so, like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's not gonna, it just explodes again. You explode it, and they have it go. Yeah, well, achoo! there's no way that this works. It's yeah, totally it's just illogical. insanely stupid. Cool. That would have been a place where we would have paused. I think if we weren't just busy thinking about other things during that scene, she's looking for the pills, and then Luke says, "Hey, can you uh, clone the hard drive?" Because that's where they get the other stuff from. And she makes like a like she goes like, Ugh. pulls out a USB and plugs it into a drive. <laughs> and it's like, what? I can believe Batwoman carries a USB, you know, for computer stuff. Uh, but like, why? I think why? It, why is she frustrated though? <laughs> I know that's what I was about to say. I, isn't that what you're like there? That shouldn't that that's be like one a of your bonus. primary that's concerns? Like a, ooh, we get to clone the yeah. drive. Neat. All the data of the criminal villain that we're chasing. Like, yeah, of course. Why would that annoy you? You should be like, oh, good idea, Luke. Um, <laughs> probably just because it's a man's suggestion. We mentioned that the police give room to the crows, right? When they've arrested Magpie. I don't think we did mention, though, that the crows then give Kate Kane time to discuss shit with Magpie. Why? Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> and you, you could be like, oh, well, because that person was the photographer that came into Wayne Tower. I'd be like, so? She's a fucking, like, wanted fucking cat burglar. What the hell? Who cares about that? It's just, like, oh. She just set off a chain reaction of explosives inside the building. It's so, like, the characters are aware that Kate Kane's the protagonist. They present Magpie to her. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Why? She's I was like, hey, Kate, you want to talk to this dangerous criminal? <laughs> yeah, and you're like, wait, why are we giving this to Kate Kane? Who is she? Like, what does she do? Is she a crow? It's like, no. What, what is... why? Uh, someone pointed out, Luke is in the Batcave when he's alerted to Magpie breaking in, and he grabs the, the taser from under the desk at his computer. I thought he didn't even know how to use the computer. Like, he'd never been near it. So is that where he keeps his taser, or is that just now where he keeps his taser? I don't know. It just it just makes me think, like, was he doing that since episode one? He just just sat in the Batcave with everything covered up, just like, do, do, do. <laughs> He had that, like, also, security office. Does he leave the Batcave when she comes in 
to... I'm talking about when he goes to get Magpie because she's broken in. Yeah, so he leaves the Batcave. Yeah. You could, but you risk being seen leaving the Batcave if you do that by someone that you know is broken in. Oh, yeah, it's, all of it's hugely risky. You know, like, she she broke in by opening a window that seemed to be open anyway, Kate Kane did in episode one. And, yeah. like, that would have alerted his system, and I'm just like, your system is aware of a window that's just ajar <laughs> that could be opened further. Like, I don't understand. Like, maybe lock it or something. I don't know. Maybe just use all that fucking Bruce Wayne money. That you got enough money to start a real estate firm. Yeah, I like Maybe that. start locking some windows or something. It would have been uh, pretty inconvenient if, you know, the magpie started stealing before Batwoman showed up. Like, if she decided to start her stealing spree three weeks earlier, she would have gotten away with it. Also, I, did Batman always have this problem? People just breaking into Wayne Enterprise building. Is that something the he was actually building, dealing with? The, the world building is shit. Like it, <laughs> everything is, is really... shit. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Uh, Doctor Lady, uh, episode three is like, haha, <laughs> she has to hang out with Sophie all the time. Personal bodyguard. She wasn't around in episode four, Sophie, with with Mary. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> is it just temp? Was it temporary for that episode? Or was it just going to be whenever they need to talk about something? That's when she turns up. I, uh... It's not going to be. I mean, they don't stick with anything. They're not going to stick with it. That's the thing. They 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 wrote that to be a thing. Just to have the drama be, bits. They come up with this plan for the story just as an excuse for these two characters to talk to each other in some weird way to give some exposition about why Kane didn't join the Crows. And I think that this was the ultimate reason why that whole bodyguard thing was made. Just so that Sophie could tell Mary, uh, or sorry, Mary could tell Sophie, he's like, oh yeah, she didn't join the Crows because she didn't want to, you know, be around someone she cared about. You know, it'd make her sad. I'm like, oh, this is the best way to convey this information to the viewer. From now on, it'll just be something they bring up out of convenience if they need it. Yeah. They need her to be around for whatever reason. When they first, like, lock up uh, her and Magpie in a fight, she, she looks at her and I think, I don't know what she's looking at, I guess, but she says, an egg? You're really committed to this whole bird thing, huh? Coming from the person who's dressed as a bat, as throwing a bat, yeah. thing bat <laughs> ranks. Like I just uh, like this is a comment from. I'm just like I can't. Like wow, <laughs> you're, you're not <laughs> self-aware like at all. Everything is bat themed with you. How can you say this to somebody? What the fuck? Also, you also have a bat grappling hook. <laughs> you know, listen, to bat cleavers. <laughs> it's also important to note that we have just established that on her arm there is something she can point at people and stun them instantly. Oh, this stupid zoom bloom thing, oh. yeah. We, I, I can't believe I'm thinking about this just now. It's probably because there's- That's like the most overpowered in, weapon, is that Yeah, rage? there's problem overload, that's why you don't catch it all, but we, oh, we established in the previous episode, she can just <laughs> point her arm at people and it stuns them. We've just negated every fight that happens. You have to explain why she isn't just pointing this at everybody and stunning also, them at a don't forget, she also has the grappling hook that she can fire at great distances with pinpoint accuracy and yank people off their whatever they're holding on to, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. she can do that too. She's a pretty powerful character. I can't wait to see how that's going to be irrelevant in certain parts of these episodes to make sure we don't, you know, allow her to win everything easily. Oh man, I can't imagine all the chase scenes that are going to happen where she doesn't just stop the chase with one of her gadgets that have been established to exist. When she's in the room of... of uh, the, the cold room and she's holding her breath. Uh, the computer, when she first starts, has a picture of her lungs and it has 100% and then underneath it, uh, oxygen. And, um... <laughs> so, like, that decreases over time. I think it goes as low as, like, 40 or something. And it's just, like, so... We don't breathe 100% oxygen, just... You know, no, we just don't. Not I mean, a thing that oh yeah, we can, yeah. but that ain't, we that ain't the atmosphere. Not so, yet, like, yeah. we, I mean, unless we've assisted, that doesn't happen. The atmosphere is um, 78% nitrogen. Yeah. And funnily enough, uh, lack of oxygen isn't actually the problem with holding your breath. It's the buildup of carbon dioxide being absorbed slowly. So it's like poisoning that's, yourself. That's correct, Mahler. Good job. Um, yeah. Fascinating stuff. And yeah, so that computer is just, just wrong. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're treating it like your lungs are a, a like, cause fuel. Well, it's like a video tank. game. It's like you've yeah, got 100% like oxygen. Meter. It's decreasing as a timer. You're like, oh my goodness, I best run. Uh, I wanted to, I'm just going to say this. The photographer was interviewing her, Kate Kane, for being a female pillar of the community. 
what her most done? famous thing that happened is she was married to Bruce Wayne and was or, sorry Thomas Wayne and then got killed. Yeah, she got killed. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm talking about Kate Kane. You see, like what you did oh. there, Rob, right? You thought of something that made a you, little yeah, bit more sense. Yeah, you actually generated something <laughs> yeah. that made more sense. Well, here's the thing. I because they they had her. They put such a huge emphasis on the stupid necklace that yeah. she wore when she was murdered. Right. Not the. That's like. That's like. This is Marie Antoinette's dress she wore when she got her head fucking chopped off. <laughs> like it's, she, because she's a strong it's female. So woman. morbid. It's like, it's like wow. It's really actually yeah. fucked up, especially if you were related to the family. You're like, eh. But yeah, yeah. why? What is Kate Kane you know, doing? Can you imagine Pillar the Pillar of the community. Like she arrived what feels like a week ago. And nobody even know. And what she does even, she do? do you remember she expressed concern that like Batwoman's getting appreciation, but Kate Kane doesn't? It's like you do, do you even yeah, talk do to anything. people in this city? Like I don't even know that you've. Do people even know who you are? Yeah. Pillar who, of the community. Are Fuck you? off. What do you mean? And you've been gone for years on your magical ninja journey. But like this is a city with millions of people in it. You're not like. Fuck, Jesus A lot of Christ. there are there are cities with millions and millions of people in it, and they don't know the name of their mayor. This is yeah, like we haven't like discussed. This isn't even the episode yet. Batwoman, Kate, Kate, at the end of the episode, she wasn't happy, and Luke was like probing her on it. And she said because yeah, she prevented stolen stuff from getting stolen, but it was just rich people's stuff, and they probably wouldn't even have cared. Okay. Uh that's that's retarded logic. Like, oh, oh yeah, Magpie should have stolen the the priceless jewels from poor people. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> but not to mention, he had of to remind course, you that she prevented Your explosions from going off. Like, how do you forget that? Yeah. Not that they were lethal, but like, it's just so poorly written. Yeah, you know what they're going for. Thieves. They like, wanted... that's that's an interesting story. <laughs> like having jewel thieves is kind of a, especially nowadays. That's one of those almost old-timey kind of crimes yeah. that you don't always hear yeah. about. It's like, ooh, um, like uh, someone's going around stealing priceless jewelry. Yeah, like you know? nowadays it's just good old-fashioned white-collar crime, like yeah. insider trading. You know, not, it's nothing that like interesting. going back to the good old days. And that's all I got. <laughs> but, so but, read, it, read it quickly. If you ever wonder how far away the bat signal is from Wayne Towers... Just, just look at this. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, even, that doesn't even make sense. Like, how did? Well, like, what they did is they moved. They moved it. What, what they did with one of the episodes when it needed to be sh when it needed to be shined up at Wayne Tower, it literally was moved to a different location because the bat signals were originally at the place in the first episode, right? Which was basically like ground floor. Yeah, because it had like a ceiling yeah, and a roof. Yeah. It had like one floor and a roof. It looked like a museum or something, and now it's on the very top of a very tall skyscraper, a completely different place, and it's just sitting there. They totally See? moved where the bat signal was just to have it to where it could shine directly on. It is it is See, convolutedly like, retarded. The logical thing, and this is why the comics do it. Generally, the bat signal is on top of the Gotham Police Department. Yeah, yeah like yeah. it just makes sense. Like that makes sense in this yeah, and show. I like, it's I like the idea that in I think it's Batman Begins, right? Where they're, they're just like, oh, this is this is Gordon's weird project. It's his life. Yeah. He's doing yeah. some weird shit, and then people start believing it and knowing it. And then they're like, can we use it to actually call him? We need him. Oh, he's he's a bad guy. All this other stuff. It's all very interesting because Gotham Police Department has loads of different storylines to go through with. Uh, hence, why there's a whole TV show based after them. Um, I hear that that one has declined in quality as well. There's like a shit ton of TV shows in relation to not just DC now, but like Batman, if you know what I mean. And yeah, like the ancillary characters. Like there's the, the, there's the, the Alfred extended... Pennyworth TV show as well. This is what I mean. It's like a very rich setting. There's a lot you can do in this show. Utterly squanders it. People watching at home, they'll be like half an hour into a video. And they'll be like, do they watch the episode? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, no, we're just reviewing stuff we've already seen. No new information has been presented to us and so I far. I fucking guarantee you that little fucking note list is going to get bigger and bigger every time because the more episodes there are, the more chances they have to fuck everything up. <laughs> yeah, that's no repairing here. That's just bad. I never understood why you stopped looking for me. But you do know. You <laughs> know what? You exactly know. <laughs> you, you do have, know. You've known it for longer than the know. audience did. <laughs> Oh, we got some great music back Why is that corpse bleeding? Um, we're just gonna leave him sitting out? Yep. Alright.
Look, morphing the hell out. Okay, face. why? Alice, how are you here? smiling at? Alice, Alice is how do you stealing have access skin. To this? Okay. What the? She's just everywhere she needs to be at any time. She could go wherever <laughs> Alice she is wants. She could skin. do whatever she wants. And all three break ins were nine minutes apart. He did all that shit in nine minutes? He, you keep saying wow. she, but like, yeah, like, how the fuck he managed to chop up eight pieces of. Okay. Is that Alice? No, it's too sick even for her. It's too sick even for her. Ah! Oh my god! Alice, Too sick even for her. I'll look into whatever the hell she could be using the skin for. Is I'll look she... into what she could be using the skin for. <laughs> okay. Whatever she's got planned for Gotham ends today. It's oh, now you give today. a shit about stopping her. Now she's gonna stop her, yeah. Nope. Bruce doesn't have night vision goggles. Batman doesn't do goggles. Batman Dogs. doesn't have night vision goggles. Sorry, but I just want to say that she said she put the tracker in him to follow him straight back to Alice. That was the plan. She's only now doing it because Alice is stealing skin. These people eat directly out of cans. What? Why don't they like cook? Because if you ruin all I have been working for, off with your head. Okay, Jesus. that acting. I'm a fucking um, psycho. This is like, oh, well, you got the tracker in your deck. We're just standing around with shotguns. I have several questions, but. <laughs> you know, just stand back to back. Oh, Jesus, guys. Batwoman's already here. Batwoman is right there. She's Shoot right there. She's guns. What are you. She's what not... is this? John Wick oh 3? What? what? Oh, my God. Look at the, look at the amount of light in the How room! How does she see? There's no bat- there's no <laughs> night vision goggles though. Why would she need night vision? The room is lit! A bat stick! <laughs> She's standing there! I'm not afraid of the dark, and I'm not afraid of you! Show yourself! You can see- okay. but it's- it's clearly bright oh, out. What? She just- this, that's it? Oh. Oh, what? what? Okay, well, okay. Right, Can we pause? What the fuck? Batwoman. Okay, I, I had questions already because of the fucking- the eating out of cans. Four minutes into this episode, she's just stopped and caught Alice and her gang. That's it. Done. Yeah. Yeah. And this is, this is a villain that just said she can't have her boyfriend fucking up her big plans. Big pl You nearly fucked up your plans several times already. How can you be this concerned that he'll ruin it? All right. Batwoman obviously has. Uh, I, I say obviously. Maybe <laughs> it didn't happen. Called the police, the crows. Hey, uh, there's Batwoman, by the way. Hello. Um, I. Um, I, I found Alice's lair. Uh, I knocked out all of the badmen. Uh, they're all tied up. They're here at this address for you. So you can go ahead and just uh, take Mop care of it up. all. I took Alice by myself. I got to interrogate her for bat reasons. So we're, we're done. <laughs> Why is she? Uh, um, I mean, no. that entire scene, like the choreography was, it was clearly very bright. Like, it was very well, bright, you know it wasn't it is, pitch right? black. They want us to be able to see, but they don't realize that making us be able to see means that the people in the room can see, unless you're in night <laughs> vision, which you would, you were just showing the room. First off, don't give me the bullshit that Batman, who works exclusively at night, doesn't have night vision goggles. That's retarded. <laughs> That's so don't stupid. Block for a second. The idea that she has her location, she knows she's murdered several people, and she's like, no, oh, it's good. They catch her fucking with dead bodies, and it's like, that's it, and she takes down the entire thing in a second, like... Yeah, it's it's the desecration <clears throat> of corpses that is what pushes that's Kate what pushes Kane yep. <laughs> to finally take her into custody, quote-unquote custody. It's not the murders, it's not the, the bomb attempts on civilians, none of that, it's it's cutting skin off of corpses. Uh, I'm so you, ready yeah, for this just, episode to just fuck with me over and over yeah, again. A minute ago, you were telling your boyfriend you'd kill him if you betrayed him, and now that you're captured, you're just fine. Which, by the you're way, I'm pretty great. sure, she, like, just, just a guess, she'll escape in this episode. Of course you'll too. escape. By the way, in the fight scene, before they start fighting, they do this shot, which is clearly like some kind of night vision shot. It's like, why don't do this all the way through? Yeah, even there you can see like lots of light coming through the fucking windows. Yeah. Get rid of the light and do like a I real mean, night vision thing. Yeah, if they and have is this the access game? to night vision. You could have done something really creative in this scene. You could have had the whole scene go pitch black. And then, like, yeah, cut it's, to it's the POV cheap, shot. It's stylistic. You know? They could have done it. You could have done I a lot of I love cool the things. idea that they're all just flabbergasted by this ghost of a person attacking them one by one when they all have guns and access to Yeah, it. it's like, just just shoot her. She's right, she's right there. Her, she's yeah. standing like, there with her bat stick. Just shoot her. I mean, Alice is just is, standing in the back watching. Yeah. <laughs>
I'm not afraid fight. of you. Boom. Oh, gang. yes, that's it. Is this all of them? The whole gang? What? This is it. Why one, are two, they three, all... Four, five, six, seven people. Where are the gods? Why the, are they all sitting in one room? The size is dependent on the plot. You know this. That's yeah. true. It is as big or as small as it needs to be at any also, given did they scene. Just, did they just, like, pull on their mask the second that she arrived? Or did they no, already have No, they were on? wearing their mask at their lair while they were eating out of the cans. Okay. They were eating directly <laughs> out of cans. <sighs> Sadistic, even for you. Yeah. It's sadistic sure even knows. for you to steal skin compared to murder. <laughs> Dodgson said, uh, you had plans with a mouse. Your attention-starved stepsister illegally drugged him. Is she Isn't actually appealing to the law? Wow. <laughs> Alice, really? <laughs> so, like, where'd you get this cage from? <laughs> if you keep around. going down this road, it's, it's the bad cage. cage. <laughs> if you keep going down this road, it's gonna end badly. <laughs> Six people. <laughs> What happened to you? Aren't you yeah. the great detective? No. What about her as a detective? Nothing. The detectives question people. What are you doing? Calling Dad. Just letting him know I'm with you. But he'll track your phone. What do you mean you're with Alice? Kate? Just thought you should know. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah. What? Why? You the boss of the crows to say you've caught the villain of the city. Bye. What? <sighs> she did that yeah. as a threat, right? But if Alice... Is freed by her, which they're doing a buddy. They're just, they're just chilling. Oh, oh, oh. chilling. They're buddies. No. They're friends now. They're just oh they're having a great God. time. We're on vacation. <sighs> We're going canoeing. It's great. What the? Isn't Crowboss going to be like, dude, what happened? Are you okay? I, what, is, what, where did she go? You had her in custody. He's, what the fuck? He's going to have people running around. What are you doing? She's killed at least five people. What is wrong I don't... with Kate Cage? She's like mentally ill. This <laughs> is several just, degrees. Just, just driving down the car. It's to turn somewhere. Who am I targeting next? Oh How am I going to do it? God. When you really need to be asking why. We already know why. Why am I like this? Okay, why? Oh, you don't want to know that. <laughs> what? You already okay, told us why. why. Why? You must be terrified. Where am I? He's oh. going to be a horrible fucking monster. Look, he's, they're doing the whole Ned Flanders thing. He's going to be a horrible monster. <laughs> well, remember, we already had the flashback about the skin mask from earlier. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's probably this guy. He probably makes skin masks. <laughs> what is that? Oh, the little experiment. Man, it's hard to, like deliver background information on characters in an interesting way. Just have them tell the other character everything. They've been very consistent with delivering hard exposition. Why would she call you and not tell you where she was? No idea. She knows I'll trace the call. Why haven't together? you? No. No. For now, we should get a team together. No. For now, it's just you and me. <laughs> what, what, Sir, it's I, I, uh, I don't need a uh, 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 <laughs> Found her. She's headed west on the interstate. Let's go. Just the two of them are gonna do it. They're not sending a whole team. He They're said gonna just get the two of them. captured or killed or hurt or. Well, there's yeah. I mean, obviously. Are you covering up for the lab's mistake? That... What? This is okay, clearly ADR. No, you wouldn't do that. Cause that would be. No, oh, it's bad ADR too. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I wanted you to hear it from me, not from Jacob or Kate. From me. Why not just use my Please tell me you didn't do this. I, I guarantee right. you it's the water or something fucked with it and they didn't realize. They didn't have to be by the water. See, this <laughs> they didn't, they're too fucking things. stupid to realize in, in the moment. It was it fucked up and they couldn't fix it. Oh, now, no. first question. Uh, two beers, please. Surely her picture is around the place, right? She's a Hang fugitive. Hang on, she's just, she's just yes. chained so up there. Like, does no one care? Isn't she a yeah. well-known villain? Yeah, she everybody knows she's they're she's eating at a restaurant, by the way. They're just- they just eating at a restaurant. Is that, is, yeah. is that all very concerning? She's got fries. She got her chicken tendies. She's wearing sunglasses How do people figure out that Kate, Kate is Batwoman when she's hanging out with the villain of Gotham? <laughs> what the hell? No, she's wearing sunglasses. It's her disguise. Can you imagine if Saddam Hussein was just sitting at a bar, like, <laughs> having a beer? We spent half our lives together. Half? Yeah. What do you mean, half? Oh, well, are they playing characters that are like 16 or something? It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. I can do any voice I hear. Why do you cover your face like that? I'll scare people. But you don't scare me. You can't see we your face. We interrupt this program with breaking news. <laughs> They've expanded their search for the missing Kane girl to the county. Wow, well, if this if this <laughs> Ned Flanders is wow. like evil, Ned Flanders left the TV on really. Yeah, like holy crap. <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> <laughs>
The spooky must. music. No, Ned Flanders, please. <laughs> no, Ned, no! no! Down in the goddamn diddly basement. <laughs> down, down into the face mask station. Oh, wow, this is goes really evil quick. Go into the closet. I like, I like how the, they wanted to do the degrees of evil, like, slow, but there's like, nah, he just... Yep. He's just nope, he's evil. <laughs> oh, give us the face mask. Why is there a face mask? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 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 Told you that! I was trapped in a basement with a face mask. You're like, okay. Oh, that awkward uh, cut. Alright. Oh, there are other no, no, security guards here who are oh. far more capable I'll take it from here. than Thanks, you. Girl. I'm so sorry I was ever born from the Wicked Witch of Gotham. It's avoiding me, but I'm totally. Oh my god. This is, this is so unrealistic. Oh. Like, if you were genuinely upset, you wouldn't be making quips. Are you okay? Catherine and I are going through a rough patch. Copy that, sir. Oh, okay, you're, going copy that, you're going through a pumpkin patch. Oh she said, god. copy that, sir. Yeah. Oh. Catherine paid the DNA analyst. So you are just telling CGI. everybody about this? Is the UK where your wife just going to jail right. eventually then? The only way to settle this for good is to catch Alice, run her DNA, and let science tell us the truth. Let science oh, no. tell us the truth. Could we have done this in episode one? Was that a thing? <laughs> Friend, I've learned, takes That's on a, good rat. a different meaning. Mm -hmm. My dear son didn't get the opportunity to develop a sense of purpose because the world made him an outcast. No, he's still very, very young. He can still do that. He waited a very long time for someone like you. He oh, hasn't been alive for a very this long is time. Your home. <laughs> Don't cry. Oh, Ned. So his son got scarred <clears throat> and he waited for a girl to get into an accident, and get knocked out in a forest that he could capture. Well, it could have been anyone. I guess it just happened. He just happened to stumble across. I feel like he would have been a little bit more proactive at that point. You know, like yeah, he wouldn't just wait scary. for this to happen. He's cool with kidnapping. He would have just grabbed a girl in general, right? He wouldn't wait for a car crash in the forest. Yeah, the people yeah, in the booth yeah. right next to him are like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> just don't look at him. Just don't look at him. What, what were you. What am I, what, Kate? Oh, she's. she's yeah, she thinks it's like. What the fuck? Was that? What? <laughs> Dude, they wanted Wait, to do a what? scene where she goes to grab the cup and knocks it over, but she so deliberately pushed it across the whole table. How does this work? Wait, you're you're handcuffed. There's several how? people around. What are you gonna do? Drag her out? What? What? Oh, they, but they got beat up. They got beat up. They're not there anymore. What? They... What? <laughs> what? They're just on the roof. There's a propane tank on the east. I'll distract them. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> They're all just standing around a propane tank, so a bullet just this kills them all. Uh, oh my god. Oh, that. This is an arrest, I guess. While well, they're being cooked alive. Oh look, oh, he's I guess so he's fucking useless, here. that character. Ten of us ambush them with AK-47s, and they're just yeah. fine. But you divided it. This city's not safe. The wealthy are safe. I mean, oh my that's god, it. where did this come from? More... Instead of no one being safe, you only made the wealthy people Sir, safe. no, you're being emotional. Stop it. <laughs> no. I like how he punched him several times in the face. There's like no blood or anything. Yeah, they, all the blood's on the other side of his face, but he didn't punch him there. <laughs> Look, we had... Can we pause? So, Alice's plan was to have her guys, who are apparently, they're back, they're fine, we're good, nothing happened, we're cool. I guess I was they correct. They were more, yeah, they were more. She, either Batwoman didn't tie them up and call the police or the crows and say, oh, they're How'd out they here. How'd they find Alice? How'd they find her? Well, yeah, How this, did they find Alice? The continuity is Alice was captured, put handcuffs on, I guess on, Alice could use the phone. When she, she, did, she did direct Kate. her to, was the restaurant Alice's choice then? I guess it was. Okay, so. Yeah. Yeah. How did she get a message to her guys, or was this all planned? She, she could have used Kate's phone. Sure, but how did her dudes get there before the, you know, the head uh, of the crow? They had left correct. way earlier. That's because the crows are fucking useless. They got here before Kate. Yeah, sorry. My criticism was assuming the crows arrived seconds later. I didn't. I didn't actually consider the idea that it was possible. They would started first. Jacob and Sophie started first. But all the henchmen got there. Well, that's why first. I assumed it was all planned. I was like, was this the plan from the beginning? Were they already there? And then you're right. How could she have gotten the message out that these guys were here? And I guess Alice's plan was that they ambush them with AK 47s and kill Jacob and, and Sophie. Her father and Sophie. And this whole plan would have been ruined if 
when she got caught by Kate, they just took her straight to prison. It was like, cool, I guess that's well, yeah, the so many end variables. of everything. She, has, she knows all relies she's on immune drugging to prison. Kate, which was such a stupid move from how'd Kate. How'd she get the drugs? How Wait, did she how'd drug you? Drugs? Yes, how? Like, I, I understand that's what she did, but yeah. actually how? how? In what scene was it? Is it going to be a throwaway line when Kate wakes up? Knew a few morgue thefts would stir you into action. Arrange for a friend to drug your drink. And like, the amount of things that had to happen for Alice to have this go this way. Like, holy shit. Kate could have just yeah. given you up to the crows. I'm I'm shocked she didn't. Well, the, when she was talking to her boyfriend about Don't Ruin the Plan, Dodson was in the was original there, fight. Yeah. She let them go. And he's in these the later fight, which guys. means he escaped. She didn't... Yeah, these aren't those guys. These are the same ones that Batwoman beat up. Oh my god! Now attempting to murder Batwoman's <laughs> father. She just yeah. let them go. She doesn't give a fuck. She's the most incompetent superhero I've ever seen. Because you know <laughs> Captain Marvel, like, she's OP as fuck and she constantly wins everything. Batwoman's retarded. Like, she's lucky that she manages to actually achieve anything. Yeah. You do realize the skin is probably for a child that's probably still alive and probably somewhere in their base. Time. Also, we got a bar that here. There's a, just a well-stocked bar no, here. That yep. celestial sister... Yeah. Let me call you a guard. To take me where? The penthouse built on lies of falsely dead children? Lies of falsely dead- I No, it wasn't built on that. I am going through a major family crisis here, okay? I don't, I don't care, no one cares not you. fucking here. You don't know who Luke is. Yeah. Fuck off. Go out for some sisterly bonding with a cold-blooded killer? What? How do you know how that you know they're this? together? How, the entire how goal right now with this? Alice is to discover her plans and stop what? them. What the fuck are you talking about? How many people have I murdered? Hmm? 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 I'm a good sister. Hmm? No, I'm I'm well, with you well, on that point. Well, Probably with uh, you Jesus found the tracker, Christ. didn't you? Arrange for a friend to drug your drink. Uh, arrange for a friend I'm to drug your drink. A friend. A friend of his works in that bar, I guess. Fine. I guess. So I finally managed to claw my way out. You killed themselves. people. I'm not. Why is this supposed to make us feel sorry for you? Mm. I mean, this sucks, but you're a horrible person. But success, I eventually did make mine. But success, I eventually you did make mine. You can't pick a lock mine. with a nail. That, no, That's not how no. this works. <laughs> you don't. You can't pick a lock with a nail. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? Wow, this was easy. Yeah. Wouldn't you wait until nighttime do, do when he's like, asleep to do this? She made this out to be extremely difficult. Didn't seem that Why are hard. You not just dial 911. Just fucking leave. Dial 911 and leave. then leave. Run, go. Down the street, screaming. No, no, no. 911, 911. drop it and leave. Hello? Teddy, it's me, Beth. You have to help. Beth? Oh my god, Beth. <laughs> if anyone comes looking for you, I will kill them. And it will be all your fault. Oh, it's like Daenerys. She used their innocence as a weapon against me. At this point, there's so much exposition that they may as well have just restructured the show to actually show all of this in continuity, like a timeline, instead of just- Wait, they actually go to the house? Yeah, he's going oh, to look, the Dan house. Oh, this house. My daughter Beth called me not one hour ago from this house. She said, help clear as can be. It was my son. He has an ability. Mimicry. So, Johnny, my son mimicked did... your daughter. Hi, Daddy. It's me, Beth. Out. What? Uh, out. He saw a home video clip on the nightly news. Fuck off. Crap show. I cannot believe they're like, what? oh yeah, we, our son actually she can do this. The she found the fucking way. the secret like, area. It, it just so happens that we have a son who has the ability to mimic little girls perfectly. What a coincidence. Fucking Kate's almost to the reveal. You kidding me? Say anything. Say anything. Beth? Uh, um, say a thing. I got it. I know what's say happening. He yeah. told her that I if anyone it. comes, they'll kill. You. They'll be killed. But, it's, but they're, they're already here. here. So they're here. <laughs> they're here. It's like, it's like no, no, no. It, all you have to say is, yeah, I'm behind here. But be quiet. Just leave and bring the police. Bring everybody. Bring the national guard. Yeah. Like, but just don't let them know that you know I'm here. That's all you have to say. Also, That's all you have to also, say. Also, little girl, you realize that she could have been in the tied up, right? Like, yeah. You didn't tell your dad about that route? Like, wow. No wonder Alice is pissed. <laughs> They're fucking idiots. Why he didn't the fuck you I say something? He, he told me if I made a peep, that he'd kill you both. 
kill people very casually, Alice. I can't feel sorry for you. I hate this what? is so stupid. I waited for you to sense. So whose fault is this exactly? <laughs> I don't know, uh, the Alice. Who are we you blaming at this use point? Your ESP to detect me behind the door. I guess what they say about twins being connected is just fantasy. Yes. Yes, you literally <laughs> said that <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs> Why you think hunger. you can just communicate telepathically with your twins? You should have said I was there, bitch. <laughs> it's like okay. It's, I relied on the rumor of telepathic twins to save me, and it didn't work. I just love the fact that he's like, I'm gonna kill anyone who tries to save you. It's just, it's just like, oh, I best not say anything then. Like, you yeah. fucking... Oh, I remember this. Uh, we're just acting like here. nothing fucking happened. He's gonna realize. Not here before. Fifteen years ago, I know where they are. Uh, I know I where, they know where they are. Uh, of all the things that have happened, that's actually, probably the most recent. Watch him! Watch him not call game. anybody. No backup. Showing. He's not telling anybody where they're going. They just like five guys with AKs. Why is she still here? I was about to say the same and thing. And why was he Alice searching very not? sensitive things right in front of her? Oh my God, Alice is a skin pirate. Of course she is. I know. I know. Don't tell people about all the fucking things, you fucking asshole! Two weeks ago, why are your buddy a guy named Jonathan Carter who admitted to having a similar hobby of stealing skin from dead people. Justice. It's again, it's the, the audience knows her? these two characters and so they just work together, right? It's like, no, they've never no, no, met. It's, it's so that he can say this shit out loud for the audience. Yeah. You think this creep has something to do with Alice? I think the timing feels incredibly suspicious. Like everything that happens in the show, the timing is incredibly <laughs> suspicious. It's it's fucking suspicious everything. Of timing. Guess it's dark now. I got the front, you take the back. How about you call back up, you utter retard, you try to save the life you of your daughter? You have a whole organization of ex-Navy SEALs and Green Berets. Why are you not making use of your resources? They're gonna get attacked, yeah. they're gonna get into fights with its life or death stakes. Man, if only they had a shotgun in their fucking car. Yeah, in Wait. the front seat of the car. <laughs> she's pulling out a pin so that she can lock, pick, and escape. Wait, well, she was pulling it out of a shoe, wasn't she? Yeah. yeah, she couldn't reach the, the nails. What's what's in the pins and shoes? This uh, is this is not something we should be doing this early. But all right, is kid okay? Is kid happy? Is yeah, she hadn't murdered much? anyone. Shoot her in the leg, homework, please. Seen a dog. Yeah. Um, what are you doing? Do it. Okay. Do it. Do it. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? When I called you and you didn't even believe it was me. But he's under the impression you're dead, he's... you fuck. Yeah, he thought you were dead. You Dude. know that his when wife called you into thinking you were dead. There's still reason to assume you're a crazy person who's assumed the identity of his daughter, by the way. You told your men to kill me. Yeah, you you're told your murderer. men to kill him. She tried to kill him. never cared. Yes. Throw it down the knife. Give up on me. Throw it down the knife. Alice is a psycho murderer. Don't you dare hug. Don't, Don't you dare he's hug. Gonna get hit. Don't you dare hug. Hey. She's gonna stab him. Oh, no, no. Nice one. Oh. Why why does this show? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, she's so crazy. Why is like why are you angry at him? I guess it's because he didn't. Oh no, she found the face mask. <laughs> <laughs> Very well conserved as well. It's the brother. It's the brother. Yeah, so you know how yeah. I said they'd get into life or death stake fights without their back? <laughs> they would establish that he could do voices. Wait, she pulled a pin. You can't just. Yeah. You need more than that. What the hell? <laughs> 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 you can't just do what the fuck you Why are you what? running away? How did you how get did out you without bumping into those two? Do, what you, I guess when she came so up she through the basement, she didn't father? fucking notice this guy. How did you not notice this? How did you hear <laughs> the basement? You just ran out without noticing this? Drop Apparently. It. You need to decide right now what you care more about. Revenge or mouse. Um, no, why didn't you just shoot her? How is this happening? What is I going on? <laughs> it's the floor. That's not a very heroic thing to do. Why you show you have not explained why she wants to kill her father. That's not something you've justified. At what point do you pull the trigger? I'm sorry, like at what point do you not kill people? He I stabs! He needs medical attention! <laughs> or head off. Kill her! Let us all walk out of here, and no one has to die today. No, 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 no! <laughs> you, you, you have more guns! You have more guns! Shoot her! Shoot her! Shoot her! Kill her! Dead! Don't yes. let them go get away again! Oh, you don't let them oh, escape! Why are you not shooting?! You actually letting oh. them escape? You fucking kidding me? <laughs> 
just been stabbed. I love that and the episode's just like, shot. I love the episode's yeah. like, let's wrap up, folks. That's the end of the episode, let's wrap up. I'm honestly at a loss for words. I cannot believe this. My thoughts are spilled on the floor. I have no thoughts. They've flown away. There's so much bad that I can't even narrow in on what the bad thing is that I need to talk about. It's intense. This is like incredibly bad. I can't believe that. I was there and I didn't feel her. How am I supposed to connect with her now when I couldn't connect with her then? Because I was there and I didn't feel her. Wait, oh, what? Wait, my dad, dad is up and moving? You fucking fault. kidding me. Shouldn't you be in the hospital? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, you should. Know I hate hospitals. You wouldn't be allowed to leave this bullshit. Why not? Why not that me? He literally wears game? skin faces? Oh, yeah. What if oh, it rots? God. God, you felt me in your dreams. Every night. The fuck am I watching? I shouldn't have tricked your dad and sister. I'm why sorry. did you? Yeah, actually, why did you? Home. This was your he chance to get out. Like you. Yeah. I also don't want you to go. I want to be your friend. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, we can be friends after we escape the killer psychopath. Please, <laughs> yeah. priorities. Is this Alice in Wonderland? Yep. Alice in Wonderland, yeah. Oh, they're loving this shot, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I love how everyone wanted it to be that the Mad Hatter villain from Batman was the one who, like, bothered her. Or it's just Ned Flanders. <laughs> Is this her ultimate plan, by the way, or was that something else? I have a gift for you, too. She has more skin samples. They've just been sitting there. They've just been yeah. sitting here. You know that that's dead skin, right? You know how that this... <laughs> how does... How do you... Oh, the fuck that's Was about. this supposed... Okay. All right. Whatever. It's just like, I... <sighs> you know that how was you the worst the episode thing? man that was the worst episode i can't believe yeah. it this is insane this is absolutely nuts we we've gone off the the actual deep end of things happening shit mm -hmm. just happens unironically this is the most significant time i've ever said this but where do we begin the episode begins with um alice going to morgues and cutting up bodies for skin in nine, uh, this nine is something minutes she does. Time, right? Nine minutes between them. She's just boom, boom, boom. Goes into morgues, get bodies, cuts them up. Uh, oh, and by the way, uh, important to note that she's not using gloves in these scenes, by the way. So fingerprints so everywhere. Ne necrotic flesh being put into an ice thing that left on the floor that stuck to a guy's face. I don't even... Okay. She gets all the body parts and then instantly in the next scene. Oh, it's a good... Yeah, the police don't have access to these cameras. But here in the, the all the Wayne CCTV cameras, we can see everything. Oh, look, here's a camera of Alice leaving the morgue. Here she's getting into her car. Here she's doing this. They could just see everything. Everything that Alice does, they have camera access to. Very, very convenient. Bruce mm -hmm. must literally have millions of cameras everywhere around the city, and no one bats an eye. Haha, <laughs> bats an eye. Picture this, we're Alice. All four of us are Alice right now, so we're like, alright, my goal is to share with Kate Kane, my sister, how horrible it was to grow up in this house. That seems to be her goal with her. Also, sub-goal, or main goal, I don't really know, kill Jacob Kane. We gotta get him. He's the bad man. We're killing him because he forgot about us, even though he was convinced by his evil step, evil wife, that I was actually dead. And there was convincing evidence. Like, this is not some yeah, arbitrary there was, thing. There was, there was convincing evidence. The kid who actually, it actually could do voices, just yeah. happened to be the son of the guy who kidnapped. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, um, that breaks the whole logic of Alice because she's best friends with the person who is directly responsible for deceiving her father. No, 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 and no, no Fringy. You're crazy. Yeah, but there, yeah she's just crazy. And he was nice she's to crazy. her afterwards. He gave her a book. Justify every Everything can be justified if your if you're villain's crazy. So mm -hmm. he allowed her to be kept in a prison that turned her insane over the years and kept away from her family. But he's forgiven because, no, he's fine. The dad was given... Actual evidence by trained professionals that his daughter had been killed slash was died. And uh, so he, he eventually gave up after, what was it, like a 12, 16 month search or something? Like an excessively long, long search. That's, that's, a, that's a long time. And he deserves to yeah. die. He deserves death for that. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then so it's like, so to enact this plan, we're gonna steal some skin. Well, well, that doesn't actually matter. She's just waiting for Batwoman to come capture all these people because she knows that there's a tracker inside her boyfriend. Okay. And when she does, guys, hopefully she doesn't put you in prison, right? She just leaves you on the floor. I'm gonna convince her to take me to a restaurant, okay? And they're like, but, but, but boss, what if, what if she doesn't do that? What if she just takes me to prison? She's like, no, no, she, 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 she won't. She's she will. This idiot. is Kate Kane. She is an absolute retard. She will do anything um, that I tell her to. Hopefully, she just rings her dad 
and her <laughs> dad tracks tracks the call while also deciding to come alone so that I can kill him. I don't know if that was involved in the plan or not. I, I really, I'm so confused about this. But boss, she was the like, boss. So is the plan for her to beat the shit out of us? Yes, but hopefully she doesn't kill you or arrest you. <laughs> uh, and then I want you guys, once you wake back up or stop pretending to be down, go to the restaurant and prepare for however many police arrive. Hopefully it's just the one, maybe two. Not you guys that you have, guys can handle two You guys have AKs, there's five, five of you. You've got, you've got the high ground with one of you guys. You're fine, you'll be able to take them out. They're all fucking nuked by a propane tank, which, by the way... Yeah. Oh, but boss... Were they captured, or were they not? I don't think they oh, were. Oh, we don't know. They'll probably be around. They'll probably be around. <laughs> boss, I have a question. Um, so you want us to kill the father that you want to confront personally? Yes. <laughs> oh, However, right? right? Anything you say. Contingency plan. If for some reason you guys are defeated then he'll probably track the phone, or he'll just randomly remember a house to go to, he will not call for backup, <laughs> and then I will have my final confrontation with him, in which I will decide he needs to die, but the moment I can actually finally decide to deliver the kill shot, it's too late. She could have killed him all the way up to that point. Batwoman exiting the basement, ignoring all of this. <laughs> just goes outside. The thing, we have now, not only is the tow, we we've had issues with this show before, with characters getting to places, but now we have direct conflict between, in order to get to the place where you're at, you have to pass people in those, you, you have to walk past people, you have to walk past dying your dying fathers. father, Alice, yeah. and you just ignore, mm. how come Jacob Kane never asks, so how did you capture Alice? How, yeah. how are you even here with her? You said yeah. you, you said you're I with guess, Alice. Well, how did we go from say, that? I guess that'll be next episode, but clearly not. He saw her at the end of this episode because he was released from the hospital the bridge, after a brutal just stab chilling. wound. Yeah, <laughs> I would be like, how the hell did you find Alice? Not tell anyone. Dude. Capture her. Not really tell us. Take her someplace. Get captured yourself by her. Lure us into an ambush. Like, what the fuck happened, Kate? Who are you? Uh, my point was just going to be how long is Jacob having been stabbed? And it seems to be a long time, especially considering how long it would take to get him to the hospital. Or even an ambulance to get there. I just... He was easily able to be killed here, but it, it's just one of those cheap shots that TV shows do. It's like, oh, will he die? It's like, no, he's fine. Next episode, he'll have a limp. <laughs> <sighs> And then next episode after that, you'll be fine. I'm just, this show is insane. You've got this, oh, we have the motivation for the, for the boyfriend. The crows were supposed to keep people safe, but all they could do is keep rich people safe. Well, this is the problem with, <laughs> if the crows were designed to bolster the police, but they only go for places that pay for them, then they are just private security. Yeah, it's a, it's a private, yeah, it's a private security company. So yeah, like, this is the part where I'm confused, I'm like, so is it a private security company, or is it funded by question mark, and it gets put into public places every once in a while to bolster the security of Gotham in general, but then you can it hire might... them privately if you want to. I don't know, like, it might be easy to the know city, if we well, the got city can... the Gotham Yeah, the city can department. contract them. But if that's the case, then then he wouldn't be right in saying that, right? Because the city, if the city contracts them, then they're, they're going to be covering that's everywhere. That's the police's fault. Yeah. He's just like, a why, private Why has he got such a problem firm? with the crows when that just... That sounds like there's complicated... There's a lot of variables once again. By the way, it's pretty hard for the crows to operate when they have fucking moles inside them that are trying to subvert their abilities. Yeah. So don't even go there, Mr. Right. Traitor. But, <laughs> like, we saw them... You know that stupid Gotham movie? in the first episode where everyone's just hanging out watching a movie like they were all there what are they supposed to do like he's like oh they protected the rich people are those the rich people going <laughs> to see the movie in the rain remember i asked you what do you think they're going to do alice episode versus monster of the week this is i think that's going to be our two choices this is an alice episode villain of the week next uh, episode probably probably yeah um, and then probably another alice one the alice ones are clearly the quote-unquote plot ones like they're driving the plot of the season the season will end with you know something will happen to alice as more definitive yeah the villain yeah. ones are just bat woman doing bat woman <laughs> stuff but this the, the issue is it's like you know you can only have your hero and your villain meet up so many times before people start getting annoyed and it's just like you can't do this i called for beth and she didn't answer so she must not be there like what the and hell <laughs> she is upset that kate didn't use her mystical twin <laughs> magical twin tele her logic her logic is so inverted she blames her sister even though she should have called out to tell her that she was in there and she blames her dad despite the fact that what? an insurmountable amount of evidence was put forward in front it's, of him it's so much more complicated than all of that right so you've got the audience's criticisms of everyone involved in this calamity but then you've also got alice's perspective on all the people involved so but alice 
It's her twin failed to detect her with her telekinesis, her dad failed to uh, keep looking for her, and I guess the stepsister is at fault for being a stepsister. That's her main gripes with everybody, it seems to be. And she's willing to kill for these things. But then, for the audience, it's like, wow, Kate, you really fucked up when you found that door and did nothing about it. Wow, yeah. Kate's dad, you were willing to search, like, every part of the house except the one part that Beth was actually in. Like, excellent fucking job, and you believe the story that... I'm, I'm still stuck on why the son who got along with Beth was happy to just go along with saying, yes, I totally faked being your daughter because I'm an asshole. Listen mm. to me fake your daughter's voice. It's like, why would you do this? Why wouldn't you just say, yeah, he's Did they never have an opportunity to escape? <sighs> like, did the dad never have to yeah, leave? Yeah, for years, I guess. I... Yo, I don't know how long that lasted. And then now, we'll now I'm wondering, out. Alice, where did you get your resources then? So you were trapped here and we finally escaped and then got your spiffy new threads, fucking shit tons of money and henchmen to follow you to like a ridiculous degree. Like they seem diehard. And yeah, yeah like, like she blames everybody. Like she doesn't really seem to have much of a problem with evil mum. That's the one she should be focusing all of her fury on. Mary is more upset than Alice is. And I like how, by the way, the defense for this episode, I imagine, for when she stabs the dad and wants to kill him, would be like, yeah, well, she's, you know, she's mentally unstable. It's like, the whole fucking episode is trying to justify her. The writers are mentally this unstable. This whole episode is trying to make us feel sorry for Alice. So Alice will casually kill innocent people, and we're supposed to feel sorry for her. Yeah. Yeah, you outnumbered her. One pull of the trigger and she'd be dead. This is an interesting thing. Well, this is dependent on not calling backup, by the way. Backup would have destroyed yeah. this whole episode. You know, like, how in <laughs> Batman there's often a sort of a debate about whether or not Batman is accountable for Joker's subsequent, you know, carnage if he, you sure, know, yeah. doesn't kill him? Like, in this, you are accountable. You had opportunities to yeah, a, just take her in. It's and a you fascinating didn't do that. question of do you jail a person who's evil at risk of them escaping and doing more evil? But then the responsibility is kind of on the jailers slash jail. Right. But Whereas also sometimes in this case. you know he has resources and followers. So is it really the jailer's fault when they'll probably have high resources to get out? Blah, blah, blah. There's lots of interesting questions with that. But this one is literally right. I'm going to capture her now because you know what? Stealing skin crosses the line. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen her more invested in stopping Alice. <laughs> she really has a thing for yeah. skid, I guess. And it took her like two minutes to get her. It's like, oh, that was easy. Who Again. wants to bet this was the high point of bad or that we're just getting started? I can't um, even hazard a guess. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not willing to wager anymore. Like, no, I mean, it is impossible. You don't know what the fuck's at this point. Also, apparently Luke is so content with her being bad woman now that he even changed the the... the to look of the oh, gadgets. Oh, wow, you're right. <laughs> Red batarangs. I hope they're properly calibrated. It's what if Bruce idea? shows up and he's like, Luke, Look, what, what the, the fuck, fuck are you doing? <laughs> you just let you know, people, what? Also, he only did it for the one grenade. The other grenades are normal. Oh my yeah. god, can you fucking imagine? This is a side project for him, spray painting the fucking gear. <laughs> How embarrassing. Yeah. This is the guy who's supposed to be Batwing, right? We still don't know why he follows her, why he's okay with her. We haven't answered that. We're just going along now. Fuck yeah. it. Don't Maybe forget, it just... the first two times they meet, she assaults him. <laughs> and she's extremely incompetent as a hero. She's using this incredible technology for poor use. She let Alice go several times. Yeah. I love At what the point idea do you stop that... her and be like, come on, Kate, listen, like, like... look, I know you're having fun role-playing, but, like, people's, people are dying because of you. <laughs> I was imagining the deep debriefing after they come back, after he's been, he's been stabbed, like, so, what happened? So, Kate found Alice. You mean, like, the bad guy, Alice? Yeah. Okay, how many people did you take together? Uh, one? Oh, did you have any gear on? I have my suit. Well, uh, we also just took my, my, my private car, my blue pickup truck, then we got assaulted by six, seven people, but we all blew them up, it's fine. You had her friend at the diner give her drug. <laughs> Good thing uh, they were standing next to that propane tank. I just... Oh, so what, what happened then? Why, why did you go? Oh, yeah. What, what if Kate I, didn't I, order I a drink? Oh, yeah, like, yeah, I'm not thirsty. <laughs> it's like, cool, I guess that's the end of the plan then. <laughs> So, so, so when did you get stabbed? Oh, there was Alice. Okay, what happened then? Oh, we had like a standoff, and then we let her go. You did fucking what? <laughs> so here's the thing. I had my gun pointed at her, and I just didn't kill her. And yeah. she was pointing a gun at 
my father. At what point does the love of your good, virtuous father overrule the love of the murderous sister? I mean, I, I <laughs> this show is really rolling on the she loves her deep down, they're sisters. But I'm like, man, she stabbed it. your dad. She stabbed your father and is threatening to kill. She was just about to kill him before you walked in. Yeah. At what point are you like, all right, like enough is enough. You don't even need to fucking shoot her in the head. Just shoot her somewhere. So she's like down. Like, you know, make it to where she's not going to be able to like actually harm anybody anymore. Yeah. Like even if that, even if that means kneecapping us, like, yep. I mean, that's still probably not like, she really probably jail would be very kind after like five people. Like that's a lot of people to kill. Yeah. Is this the Oof. most incompetently thing written ever that we know of? Most incompetently thing ever <laughs> written. <laughs> I, See, I, cause I'm, I'm, I've, I've never before has anything like this. Again, I want to highlight. It was there even a hint of SJW shit in this episode? Like if you That's, watch this, it's though, not even relevant. Like That's it's not, the thing. It's, it's not, not relevant. what the focus is here. It's just the worst kind of inconsistent writing you can. Yeah, they only took generate. one. They only took one dig at Batman with the whole, oh, Batman doesn't have night vision goggles. Who's so gonna do it? And she's annoyed at Batman for not having night vision goggles. Also, how lucky that uh, the traitor guy was like not knocked out or killed by the explosion. Well, I don't know what's happened to those guys. Yeah, you would think that in any normal. In any other show, in any other sane show, y y this wouldn't have happened because after they get beat the fuck up, Bat if Batman would have done this, Bat would have Batman would have been like, uh, Professor, uh, Profe uh, Commissioner, Commissioner Gordon, uh, I, I knocked out all the bad guys. They're at this location. They're disarmed and tied up. And like, oh, thanks, Batman. That was a great, great work you did apprehending those criminals. It's like, but I have something to settle with, uh, with, with their leader, with, with Alice. After I get my information from her, I'll turn her over, you know? But no, like the opposite happens. Nothing came of that. Just to clarify, Batwoman went to Alice's lair with all of her henchmen, beat up all of her henchmen, captured the leader, Alice, and nothing happened as a result of that. Yeah, no, you could skip this episode, technically. The only thing you, you know, I, I mean in that regard, because obviously knowing some more of her backstory is important, in fucking quotation marks, that whole scene at the beginning is nullified by the end of this episode. She casually um, decides she's gonna capture and destroy Alice's organization, she wait. does it. People might be like, well, obviously they deliberately let her win in that opening scene, because it's a part of their plan. It's like, they did not know that she wouldn't they immediately were shooting... call the crows. They could have had the crows pour in. Yeah, they were shooting bullets towards her, sort of. They were... The whole oh, that, like, that plan, plan would have got work. fucked if that worked, eh? Oh yeah, exactly, she's coming in. Shoot at her with your bullets? What a hideous episode. Like, let's, let's, let's be frank, Alice is upset that Kate, as a little girl, didn't use her twin ESP to sense her through the door. Just to be clear, that's actually what Alice expected to happen. Alice is angry at other people for not using magic powers. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I just, I can't believe that's not hyperbolic. That's actually why she's upset. So Kate has emergency nails in her boots, I guess. You know, as one does. I mean, I think that's, to be, honest, to be fair, I think that's actually how those boots are made. Well, nails. then, if that's true, then why was that like her second go-to? Uh, <laughs> didn't want to damage her boots. I what took her so long <laughs> to decide to try and do that? How long was she even t whatever. Yeah, you can't pick, life, that's not how locks work. You can't just stick a nail into a keyhole and, and be until like, it opens. Oh, yeah. Like, why do you think keys open particular locks? Like, how- I remember seeing, like, a, a guide on it, but it's like, you're supposed to- this, like, one holds up the, the latches or whatever, the other one- like, Goes to each individual, yeah, little slot to, you know, to but, move them and get them all in place. Isn't a nail just- eh, whatever. <laughs> it's just a metal stick. It's just a little bitty metal stick. It's like a- it's, it's like a tiny bat stick. I can't believe it. This is actually the worst thing just yeah, this was... ever. Just the worst thing ever. Yeah, okay, well, yeah, that, that about wraps it up, I guess. Um, that was episode five. I, I that was episode that. five, and it was the worst of them all. I, I would say that it can't get worse, but I know it can. It definitely can. And I'm it looking forward to it, I suppose. But I need, this is why it's good that it's weekly, I need recovery time now. I need to <laughs> you know, recharge my, my, I need to be reminded that this stuff is a surprise instead of feeling like this is normal. I need to go back to being like, yeah, good writers exist, this is fine. Compare this to like, 
fucking anything that's competent, and it's like, how does this get made? Why are you how trying to make something made? bad? Why are you going out of your way to make a stupid story? Just have her fighting criminals with her gadgets. You clearly can't- you can't handle that, but you certainly can't handle anything more. Oh god. Because that's all it could have been. Batwoman fights- you made it almost like a, a serial parody. You know? It could have been super simple, just, oh no, there's a new villain this week, how are we gonna discover it? See, see you next week, folks. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Wanna die? Oh my god! What'd you bring me?